Hello friends, welcome back to Multi Question World. Today we are going to discuss some important questions for lab technician exam. You can watch the previous videos from playlist and the links are there in description box. You can watch from there also. If you are watching without subscribing, please do subscribe. Question number 1. Ben Stone's protein coagulates at option A 80 to 90 degrees Celsius, option B 45 to 55 degrees Celsius, option C 90 to 100 degrees Celsius, option D 30 to 40 degrees Celsius. At which temperature Ben Stone's protein get coagulates? The correct answer is option B 45 to 55 degrees Celsius. BJP is an abnormal protein appear in urine in multiple myeloma which get coagulate and precipitate at a temperature of 45 to 55 degrees Celsius. Question number 2. Cast in urine indicates option A homocysteinuria, option B ketonuria, option C proteinuria, option D hemoglobinuria. Casts are the collection of protein and cellular debris in a kidney tubule. So, the correct answer is option C proteinuria. Casts in urine indicates proteinuria. When larger amounts of plasma protein such as albumin enter into the renal tubules, the formation of casts increased. Question number 3. Percentage of acetic acid in heat and acetic acid test. Option A 33%, option B 10%, option C 3%, option D 12%. 3-5% to acetic acid is used in heat and acetic acid test. So the correct answer is option C 3%. Heat and acetic acid is a qualitative test for urinary protein. Proteins are coagulated and denatured by heat. The addition of weak acetic acid that is 3 to 5 percent acetic acid facilitates precipitation of protein. Question number 4. Dumbbell shaped crystals are option A calcium oxalate, option B calcium carbonate, option C calcium phosphate, option D both A and B. The correct answer is option A calcium oxalate. Dumbbell shaped crystals are calcium oxalate. They are colorless octahedral or envelope shape rarely seen in dumbbell shape. Question number 5. Normal glomerular filtration rate. Option A 127 ml per minute. Option B 100 ml per minute. Option C 130 ml per minute. Option D 160 ml per minute. The correct answer is option A, 127 ml per minute. Normal glomerular filtration rate is 127 ml per minute. Question number 6. Specific gravity of urine can be detected by option A, refractometer, option B, urinometer, option C, strip method, option D, all of the above. Refractometer, urinometer and strip method can be used for detecting specific gravity. So, the correct answer is option D, all of the above. Question number 7. Rothra's nitroprusside dust is used to detect option A, bilirubin, option B, bile salt, option C, ketone bodies, option D, urobilinogen. Which among the following can be detected using Rothra's nitroprusside test? The correct answer is option C, ketone bodies. Ketone bodies are acetone, acetoacetic acid and beta-hydroxybutyric acid. Acetone and acetoacetic acid can be detected using this method. Beta-hydroxybutyric acid cannot. Question number 8. Caffeine lid shaped crystal in urine. Option A, calcium oxalate. Option B, triple phosphate. Option C, uric acid. Option D, calcium carbonate. The correct answer is option B, triple phosphate. Caffeine lid shaped crystal in urine is triple phosphate. Question number 9. Percentage of acetic acid used in Fouchet's test. Option A, 10 percentage. Option B, 3 percentage. Option C, 18 percentage. Option D, 33 percentage. Fouchet's test is used for the detection of bile pigments and the concentration of acetic acid used is 33%. In heat and acetic acid it is 3%. Question number 10. Normal total protein content of cerebrospinal fluid. Option A 40 to 80 mg per deciliter. Option B 15 to 45 mg per deciliter. 
ऑप्शन सी फोर्टी फाइव टू नाइन्टी मिलीग्राम पर डेसी लीटर ऑप्शन डी हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम पर डेसी लीटर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी फिफ्टीन टू फोर्टी फाइव मिलीग्राम पर्सेंटेज नॉर्मल टोटल टोटल प्रोटीन कंटेंट ऑफ सी एस एफ इज फिफ्टीन टू फोर्टी फाइव मिलीग्राम पर्सेंटेज क्वेश्चन नंबर लेवन यूरोबिलोजन इन यूरिन इज डिटेक्टेड बै ऑप्शन ए रोतरास टेस्ट ऑप्शन बी एर्लिश टेस्ट ऑप्शन सी हेज टेस्ट ऑप्शन डी हीट टेस्ट विच ऑफ द फॉलोविंग टेस्ट इज यूज टू डिटेक्ट यूरोबिलोजन इन यूरिन The correct answer is option B, Ehrlich test. Ehrlich test is used for the detection of urobilinogen in urine. Question number twelve: Increased white cell count in CSF. Option A, pleocytosis. Option B, monocytosis. Option C, lymphocytosis. Option D, pancytosis. Increased white cell count in CSF is called as pleocytosis. So the correct answer is option A, CSF pleocytosis. Monocytosis is increased monocytes, lymphocytosis is increased lymphocytes, and pancytosis is the overproduction of blood cells. Question number thirteen. Early reagent contains option A, tetramethyl paraphenylene diamine dihydrochloride. Option B, four amino phenazone. Option C, para dimethyl amino benzaldehyde. Option D, both A and C. Ehrlich test is used for detection of urobilinogen, and the reagent used is para dimethyl amino benzaldehyde. So the correct answer is option C, PDAB, para dimethyl amino benzaldehyde. Question number fourteen. Pandi's test is done for option A, glucose in CSF; option B, globulin in urine; option C, globulin in CSF; option D, glucose in urine. Which of these parameter? can be detected by pandi's test the correct answer is option c globulin in csf pandi's test is done for globulin in cerebrospinal fluid question number 15 pandi's reagent is option a saturated ammonium sulfate option b saturated sodium sulfate option c saturated calcium carbonate option d saturated phenol solution 0.5 ml of saturated aqueous solution of phenol is added to one drop of CSF. So the correct answer is option D, saturated phenol solution. So friends, today we are winding up. In the next day, we will discuss hundred questions at a time. So don't forget to subscribe. Then only you will get the notifications. Thank you.